So for today, ang pag-uusapan natin ay IALA Voyage System. Umingi ako sa inyo ng mga questions na gusto niyong malaman about IALA Voyage System. So first question natin is, what is IALA? Ang IALA or International Association of Marine Aids to Navigation and Lighthouse Authorities ay may goal na ma-improve ang paraan ng pagnanavigate ng mga vessel sa dagat. May compare natin ang IALA sa mga road signs na nakikita natin sa normal na kalsada. So second question natin is, what is the purpose of IALA? Layunin itong maging uniform ang buoyed system sa buong mundo. Ang IALA ay nagpo-provide ng rules and regulations na nag apply sa lahat ng fixed, floating, and electronic marks na nag indicate ng lateral limits of navigatable channels. Natural dangers and other obstructions such as wrecks, landfall, course to steer, and other areas or features of importance to the mariner. Next question natin is, what are the six IALA marks? Meron tayong six types of IALA marks. First is the lateral marks. Ito yung conventional direction of voyage. Ini-indicate nito ang port and starboard sites ng route na dadaanan. Next is the cardinal marks. Ginagamit naman nito katulong ng navigational compass para mahanap ang navigatable waters. Next is ang isolated danger marks. Ito yung nag-i-indicate ng isolated dangers na maliliit lang ang size sa navigatable water. Next is safe water marks. Ginagamit naman nito sa pagmamark ng pwedeng daanan except sa part na may markings. Next is the special mark. Ini-indicate naman ito yung areas with special features. Lastly, emergency wreck marking boy. Ginagamit naman nito para mamarka na ang newly discovered wrecks na hindi pa na indicate sa nautical publications or charts. Next question natin, how many regions do IALA have? Ang IALA ay may dalawang region. Ito ang region A at region B. Ito ang picture. So related doon sa last question natin na kung ano ang mga regions ng IALA system, so, ang sunod natin questions is, ano ang mga countries na nasa Region A at ano ang countries na nasa Region B? So, para sa mga countries na Region A, it includes Europe, Australia, New Zealand, Africa, and the Gulf of some Asian countries. Next natin, what are the countries in Region B? Region B comprises of North, South, Central America, Japan, Korea, and the Philippines. Next ko na masasagutin is ang mga questions nyo about IALA system in Region A. So for illustration, naglagay ako ng ship dyan para maintindihan nyo. First question natin. In Region A, what is the shape and color of the markings in the port side? So para sa color and shape of markings natin sa port side in Region A, ang color nito ay red. At ang shape ng buoy natin is either cylindrical, pillar, or spar. So next question natin is, what is the shape and color of the top marks in the port side? So ang top marks sa port side natin is single red cylinder or can. Makikita natin yan sa tuktok ng boy. Next question natin is, what is the color that blinks on the markings at the port side? Siyempre, pag dumidilim na, hindi na masyadong visible yung ating mga boys, kaya kailangan natin ng light or kung ano yung nagbiblink doon. So ang color ng light na inimit ng markings natin on the port side is red. At ang light rhythm niya is any apart from composite group flash 2 plus 1. So doon naman tayo sa starboard side. What is the shape and color of the markings on the starboard side? So ang color ng markings natin on the starboard side is green. At ang boy shape nun ay conical, pillar, or spar. So still in the region A, what is the shape and color of the top marks on the starboard side? So, ang color and shape ng top mark na ating starboard side marking ay single green cone na nakikita sa illustration natin. So, next natin is what is the color that blinks on the markings on the starboard side? So, ang color na nagbibling sa ating starboard side is color green. Kahulay siya nung boy natin. Tapos, ang light rhythm niya is still the same with the port side. So, next part ng questions natin is questions about the IALA system in Region B. 
First question natin para sa region B is what is the shape and color of the markings on the port side? So for region B, mag-iiba lang yung color na ating markings pero still the same shape on the port side. So ang magiging color na niya, imbis na red dun sa ating port side, is magiging color green na siya kasi nasa region B. Region B still has the same shape of boy, cylinder pa rin siya on the port side, pero iba na yung color niya. Imbis na color red yung boy natin on the port side, magiging color green na siya. Next question natin is what is the shape and color of the top marks in the port side. So, ang top mark natin for the port side is single green cylinder. Next question natin, in region B, what is the color that blinks on the markings in the port side? So, same as the color of the boy, it's color green and it has the same light rhythm to the last two boys. Next question natin, in region B, what is the shape and color of the markings in the starboard side? So, ang color ng markings natin in the starboard side is color red and ang shape niya is conical, pillar, or spar. Next question, what is the shape and color of the top marks in the starboard side? Ang color niya is red and ang shape niya is conical. Next question is, what is the color that blinks in the markings on the starboard side? So, pag dumidilim again, hindi na masyadong visible yung ating mga boys. Kaya kailangan mag-emit ng boy ng light. So, para sa ating starboard side, ang light na ini-emit ito is same with the color ng boy, which is color red. So, the next set of questions natin is about the preferred channel in region A. So, first question natin, in region A, what is the shape, color, top mark, and the light it emits of the preferred channel marks in the port side? So, para sa preferred channel marks, may dalawa tayong colors. Isang major color at isang minor color. So, para sa port side in region A, ang major color natin is green and the minor color natin is red. So, ang possible shapes nun is conical, pillar, or spar. So, para naman sa top marks, ang usual na top marks ng ating preferred channel marks is conical. Para naman sa kulay ng light na ini-emit ng ating boy, ang color nun is same as the major color of the boy, which is color green and is flashing 2 plus 1 or still the same with the light rhythm ng mga naunang boys. So, next question natin is, in region A, what is the shape and color of the top marks and the light it emits of the preferred channel marks in starboard side? So again, may dalawa tayong colors in this in this type of boy. So ang major color natin is red and ang minor color natin is green. So ang mainly ang shape nun is cylindrical, pillar, or spar. Ang top marks naman nun is square or flat top. And ang light na ini-emit nun is red light with flashing 2 plus 1. So next set of questions natin is about the preferred channel in region B. So what is the shape, color, top mark, and the light it emits of the preferred channel marks in port side? So again, same as the region B. Same pa rin yung shape natin sa port and starboard sides. Ang pinagkaiba lang nila is yung color. So major color naman natin for the region B on port side is red. And a minor color natin is green. Ang shape naman ito is conical, pillar, or spar. And ang top mark nito ay conical or pointed top. So ang light na ini nito is same as the major color which is red. So next question natin is, what is the shape, color, and top mark and the light it emits for the preferred channel marks in the starboard side? Same shape pa rin siya sa region A natin. The only difference is its colors. A major color nito ay green and a minor color naman is red. Ang shape is still the same, cylindrical, pillar, or spar. Ang top marks nito ay square or flat top. At ang light nito na ini-emit is same color as the major color which is green. So that ends our Q&A about IELA system. If may questions pa kayo, don't forget to comment down below.